and, and today we are going to learn about end routine in our previous session we learned about start routine now we are going to learn about end routine using hana script in bw4 now. okay so let's um, our, in our previous session we already discussed about the scenario so i'm going to learn, you know just to recap it so in my bw4 hana system i have a write up major ads4 and i have one target uh, one standard ads4 okay in my write up major ads4 i have few columns in uh, uh, my target which is standard ads4 i have few extra columns are there and i create a transformation between my write up major ads4 to the standard ads4 so if you see here out of uh, you know around some many fields only few fields got mapped from source target which are available in my source so other fields for example cal month cal month cal year and price currency amount all these are unmapped so i need to derive all these columns in the end routine yeah here cal month cal month cal year i can derive either using you know mapping also because these are time you know characteristics which can be directly mapped to date field and can be derived at the field level routine or field level i want to you know one to one mapping also but i am going to derive them in the end routine just to show you how to write you know derive such kind of things in the end routine to uh, you know for learning purpose so going back here so in my write up major ads4 i have four records are there 1000 1 2 3 4 and m1 and m2 you know are the materials and these are the quantities and in my target structure is my target structure is like this here what uh, before i i am going to write my end routine let's discuss about the uh, scenario okay from the created on i am going to derive this cal month cal month to cal year cal month is nothing but you know num6 it means uh, from year i need to derive the first four characters to get the y y y mm format cal month 2 means only month information i need to update here year means the first four characters of my cal calendar date okay created on date and then coming to the price from where i am going to derive my price i am going to material master data so there is a p table of my material master data on the p table of my material master data there is a field called you know rtpl ctst uh, planned you know cost so i am going to consider this cost as a price of my material and this is the currency for the price okay i am going to update these two values uh, bring to the, those two values to the his price and currency and the amount will be calculated by using quantity in this, into this price so this is my you know scenario i am going to derive all these unmapped columns in my end routine so where is the end routine if i go to general tab here i can write my end routine in b4 hana we can write end routine either using the hana scripting or using the abap here already using abap we discussed in our previous sessions you can check in my playlist bw4 you know abap playlist in english and now we are going to learn about the hana scripting okay so first of all why we write end routine yes we write end routine to derive any new columns um, uh, to derive any unmapped columns information using some using some business logic and very complex logics also can be implemented simply using this uh, end routine concept okay i am clicking on this uh, hana script and we learned it before click clicking on this and you create sap hana script i need to open you know i need to have at least you know currently i am in bw perspective i am jumping back to dpw so we need to add, have one abap perspective here this is important people who doesn't see my earlier video uh, for that purpose uh, i am telling this point before you create any scripting you know a start routine or end routine or expert routine first you must have an abap project in your you know project explorer so the abap project can be identified by checking this system library if system library is there in your project then it means your it is a abap project so it must be added to your uh, to your project explorer and more information available in my previous video uh, start routine now clicking on this create hana script it is uh, asking you see create end routine and here what is this select the fields that you want to add to the routine so you see only few columns in my coming which are coming from source which are which are having one to one mapping in my transformation those are tick marked remaining all are not tick marked since we are going to derive these columns in my end routine we must check these columns or else these won't come into my end routine okay so now select all the columns that you want to derive here and then click on edit routine 
then it go it opens you know our uh, ABAP perspective it will open the class in the ABAP perspective select here ABAP perspective and click on OK button now it created one class um, yeah, now this is opened in the ABAP perspective now you see by default it is showing this uh, red color why because some out table variable is not assigned because by default SAP is here committing my out tab as explained earlier so Android team is also having two tables okay in tab and out tab uh, initially data which comes to end routine is available under in tab we need to assign uh, the output information to the out tab so if we want to process the data in the in tab can be processed and be and be assigned to out tab so for example you could what happened in my uh, method out tab is equal to select start from in tab so this is the default statement given by sap so if i keep it like this and activate it also my code will work properly but what happens, uh, my code will work correctly, means uh, my code will work correctly, but the output will, will not come as expected. Why? Because my source contains only for these many columns like material, uh, sorry, my, my source contains document number created on, and then material, and then, uh, you know, uh, price and unit, not price, quantity quantity and unit this is these are my source fields but my target contains document number created on cal month cal year okay cal year cal month two and then quantity and then unit and then price and then your currency and then amount so my source structure is containing only uh, around you know five columns but my target structure contains almost 10 columns are there so when i do select start from in you know when before data coming from the source to the end routine already by this time my data in the um, data in the intab so in my end routine for example uh, if i not example in my end routine initially data will be placed in intab so this intab is in the structure of my and you know uh, target structure it means intab contains 10 columns so how these 10 columns got generated those these 10 columns got generated data from the source so whichever columns i am having on tone mapping the info for example let me take one record 1001 created on 2023 01 01 and material m1 and quantity 100 and uh, st okay we using one to one mapping in the end routine in the in tab data will be created which are having one to one mapping those uh, data will be updated and which are not having mappings those other uh, so on so places i have null values okay so here and all i am having null values hmm? so if i don't write any logic then i will get a blank information here so price by default is zero currency also i will have null amount also i have zero because uh, default value is zero and uh, here the whole bracket is blank okay so now you i am writing a logic here in the end routine to derive you know uh, to update uh, to derive some result set which is in the uh, which is in the proper data set and assigning the data to the out tab so i am consuming the data in my in tab and deriving the newly columns like cal month cal year cal month 2 all will be derived from created on and uh, price and all look up and all i will do Finally, I will create one proper data set and assign the data set to the output tab. So when you see um, when I'm writing code, you will understand in a better way. Okay, this is the background of it before uh, you must know, which you must know before writing here. So if I simply write in this way, what will happen? I will get my output, but in my output, I will get all nulls, where and all I don't have mapping, there and all I will see blank data set. But that is not my expected output. So that's the reason this particular simple statement doesn't satisfy. We need to write some code. Okay, so how to write code? So now I need, I'm using start from in tab, but now I need to write a lookup also. So for that reason, I'm using, I'm writing here using statement. So using uh, this uh, using st keyword, we can, we need to add whichever lookup tables I want to consume in my uh, logic. So I'm going to consume pre material table in my logic. So I'm adding this material information using using keyword. But yeah, initially it will come red, but later it will be gone. Okay, now select. So this uh, in tab, uh, I'm considering, I'm giving Elias name as A and i am performing what i am performing left outer join remember um, since 
you want to bring all data in the interb into the output and derive the newly uh, derive the unmapped columns here it's good to use the left footer join uh, because if the join fails your uh, some of your records may miss from the outputs that's why using left outer join left outer join my table when i am you uh, writing a table name using using keyword i must not put any double quotes here but uh, in the uh, in the left outer join i must keep my my database name in the double quotes slash bi zero slash uh, p material okay within the double quotes i need to give this one because it contains slash backslash as b and then on condition on a dot material because material is a key between these two tables uh, so a dot material equal b dot material okay now here see it is the saying wrong one what is the wrong one duplicate attribute name material because you know here star means what star means all data from the a and b table but that is not my expected output i am expecting only a dot star it means with data records only from the in table so then my gone but you see a dot star means all the columns from my in tab so it means all the columns from in tab so giving star means uh, it is not correct because star will give all data but i need to update the column information right column calendar column month so st giving star this time does not fit here i need to write each individual column okay so here what i am going to perform now i am going to instead of star i am going to write each and every column uh, in my in tab so how to know which columns are there in my in tab scroll up if you scroll up here you can see in right in global and in this particular above this in global and here whichever columns you see here all these are your in tab columns now copy this all these columns into your so i am telling you one simple way here just so what i do i will copy these columns into notepad and then i will remove this data type question so document number comma so here initially you are getting space right select like this control h so it i'm replacing no no first select copy control h paste it here mm -hmm. paste it here and then replace all so initial space will be gone now uh, after each column name whichever is there replace it by comma like this do 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 for everything then i already did this exercise so this is my column data set now copy okay so now simply what i am going to do i am replacing the star with the respect to column names that's it nothing else okay um uh, to make it uh, come you know properly i am giving like this now here you see there are some error red marks are showing what are those red marks you see because of backslash system system is not accepting this column so keep this uh, wherever we have like this we need to keep those things in the double quotes okay again you see where each column each column must be separated with the comma okay and for the last column we must not keep comma then done so record mode you see what it is saying uh there is a ambiguity in the record mode so record mode must come from a in tab so i am giving a dot even material also having ambiguity a dot so done so now uh, all the errors are gone gone but in the in tab this cal month is having null value so i don't want to you know give null value to my out tab so i need to derive some value for the cal month from where i am going to derive cal month i am going to derive this cal month from the created on so this created on is in the format of by 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 mm dd this is my format of my created on so from this uh, created on i need to um, this uh, double line is used to uh, hyphen hyphen is used to comment the you know line so from this uh, i want to derive the cal month it means i i need to get the first six characters okay so from date field if i bring the first six characters then it will be act as my cal month but uh, i cannot uh, you know perform any operations on a date field if you want to perform some string operations on a date field first you need to convert the date into string format okay so for this what i need to, i need to write some functions here if you go to google and give this a hana sql functions you will get one link from sap help with sql functions go there from here you can find all the sql functions that are available in the hana side 
So for here you see data type conversion functions. If you go here, there uh, two underscore varchar is the function which we use to convert any data type into varchar format. Now I am going to use the thing. Okay, two um, two underscore varchar of so which one I am going to varchar created on. So I am converting created on column into varchar format. After converting into varchar, I am I need first four characters of these uh, six characters. Okay, because first six characters are Kalman. So that's uh, for that there is a uh, function called left. Okay, using left function I can get the first six characters, comma six. So what what is this function? Left is a function string function which will bring the certain number of characters from the left side. Okay. Uh, here we need to provide the information means a day, a value field comma how many characters you want to read from left I want to read six characters so which gives Kalman information it means uh, this will be like a y y y y mm okay now here I need to direct Kalman 2 so Kalman 2 means uh, it is a mm okay I need to derive mm it means uh, I need to derive in between string so for for that kind of you know here also for, we need to derive it from uh, date only um, so first of all i need to convert this in uh, date into varchar after that substring okay substring is a uh, one of the function which you know brings data from in between so substring of value comma i need to read, read data from fifth character till two characters Okay, which gives means first four characters are even from fifth character read two characters which will give you the month information. Similarly, here also I can bring the first four characters. I'm copying this and pasting here. And instead of six, if I take four, then it becomes a year. So I'm done with Calman, Calman to Cal year. Now next one is price. So from where I need to derive price, as I said earlier, price is equivalent to the uh, this uh, planned cost you know from my p material table so what i am going to do here i am price b dot so if i give so that's why you need to have some sql knowledge before implementing this one so you can refer to my hana um, native hana playlist for a sql knowledge okay so b dot means b means nothing but my p table of material from p table i am taking this planned cost as a price value similarly in the b table i have local currency lock underscore cu r r c y as currency okay c u r r c y yes so this currency also i am reading from the p table now what about amount amount is nothing but my quantity into my uh, price so here i can simply write quantity quantity into price means nothing but b dot this one as my amount so done so each whichever columns are unmapped in my uh, transformation all those columns i derived within the select statement itself okay so i am activating my uh, you know um, end routine so end routine was activated successfully i am closing it and then activating my transformation and then finally i will execute my dtp so yeah transmission activated now i'm executing my ttp so which will run this and execute now i'm going to rs mng of my in from sap gua and opening uh, you know this one refreshing here you see i got four records if i go to new data here you see cal month was derived correctly and month was derived correctly year was derived correctly and price also came from the middle master data and then amount also coming as quantity into price so all the columns which are unmapped are derived in the end routine successfully okay so next what we need to learn we need to learn how to debug this end routine to understand this functionality but here debugging uh, nothing is there because we have written only one single statement here so nothing uh, much to debug but to maybe in your project you may have too many number of codes i will show you how to how to set breakpoint and how to execute ddp and stop at your breakpoint so which gives your you know debugging knowledge in the um, native hana uh, not native hana in the bw4 hana transformations okay i'm stopped